we're here at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, Florida, as the WGS Delta IV team prepare for launch of DOD's highest capacity communication satellite. Status check to proceed with terminal count. MEQ. Go. MEA. Go. HYE. Go. For the second time in a week, United Launch Alliance prepares to deliver an Air Force payload into orbit. This Delta IV rocket will launch the seventh wideband global SATCOM satellite, enhancing communications capability to the nation, the warfighter, and international partners. Here we are now launching the seventh wideband global SATCOM satellite. WGS has really become the workhorse for DOD wideband communications. The constellation of WGS satellites increases the communications capabilities of the military forces in the United States, Australia, Canada, Denmark, Luxembourg, the Netherlands, and New Zealand. Indeed, any defence force communications is absolutely critical. Uh, critical for command and control and actually increasingly for uh, welfare aspects. What WGS represents to Australia is our ability to operate with our allies across the globe and I can assure you that while the world is uncertain, the Australia-US alliance is an absolute certainty. New Zealand is a small nation. There's no way we could put up our own satellite or have our own satellite constellation. So being able to enter this WGS partnership is, is an absolutely marvellous opportunity and uh, gives us an absolutely wonderful capability. WGS provides essential, anytime, anywhere communication services for the warfighter. The system enables combatant commanders to exert command and control of their tactical forces, from peacetime to military operations. What does it take to get that payload into orbit? Well, it takes a whole team. We like to say here at this wing that it's uh, one team uh, to ensure 100% mission success. Uh, and that team really is the whole wing. A combined team of military, government, civilians, and contractors, Patrick Air Force Base and Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida, provide assured space launch, range, and combat capabilities for the nation, including weather forecasts. Here at 45th Space, we like to say it's Team Patrick Cape, you know, two different bases working in concert uh, in order to assure 100% mission success. So we're standing here on Patrick Air Force Base, it's 93 degrees <laughs> out. I don't know what the humidity is, they say it feels like 105. It does. Tell me how that affects a launch. There are several weather concerns that we have here. And as a matter of fact, if you pan off into the distance, you can see one of our large weather concerns here at Patrick Air Force Base, especially launching in the summer, are the building clouds and our various uh, weather rules that we have. When you launch, uh, in the lightning capital of the world, one of the things that uh, you have to be very, very concerned about are those afternoon storms. But this team is highly trained, they're highly motivated, and they know exactly what to do in order to get us to that final T-Zero. This is Boeing's Mission Control Center for WGS here in El Segundo, California. Let's head inside and meet the crew as they conduct their countdown to launch procedure. The NCC team go. The only thing I ever wanted to do was work in Mission Control. You're the guy that gets to play with the hardware. Most of the people that I've run across have no idea that we actually build and fly satellites on such a regular basis here in the U.S. But what we're really responsible for is that the, the commands they're sending at the launch site to make sure that the vehicle is configured for launch are properly verified and that we have the, the responsibility as subsystem engineers to verify the vehicle state for all the subsystems, power, thermal, ACS, so that we can give the final go and, and launch successfully. Fortunately, the, the team that I have, they know that I absolutely rely on them. I trust their experience. Just knowing that I can rely on the technical expertise of all the individuals, um, of that, that makes my job a lot easier. I think that's probably not apparent to the public. You know, the public hears about satellites and they might think, okay, that's just another uh, vehicle up on orbit but understanding all that goes on behind the scenes to thousands of people who work on a given project just to get it off the ground and, and up on orbit. The Delta IV and WGS spacecraft team up for their fifth voyage into space. The tower will roll back 345 feet from the rocket here at Launch Complex 37B. It's a very important partnership to the company, but also we, we feel uh, empowered, you know, proud to be a part of the team, support the mission, and to be able to make sure that the country is enabled by the capabilities we deliver to orbit. The countdown begins now as the Delta IV and WGS team make their final preparations for launch. We spent the last three or four years preparing the satellite, uh, the last couple of months here down at the Cape getting ready for launch, and we're ready to get that satellite ready for the users out in the community. So WGS. The Delta IV rocket launches from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, Florida, carrying WGS-7 into orbit. Four. 
three, we have ignition. Two, one, zero, and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance. Delta IV rocket carrying the seventh WGS satellite. And the feedback from my people is that they finally get access to, uh, to the broadband uh, communications they need. They, they love the international uh, aspect and the affordability aspect. It's always exciting to be a part of a major milestone in any program. Putting up a communication satellite which has a 17% increase in comm capacity. So that's always amazing. It's great to be able to get down there and see it and feel that vibration off of your chest as it launches. The ability to bring more communications capability to our own warfighters and knowing that when we go out into a coalition environment, we're providing that same capability to all of our warfighters. It's so exciting. There's nothing like being here and being a part of this.